come in. Trucker Rudy here. We are just going down uh, Rogers Pass up here in British Columbia. And it's beautiful. You can even see some snow up there in the mountains. So I know it's pretty foggy up here this morning, but uh, no, well, nothing I can do about that. But uh, I'm going to make it down to uh, Langley, BC today and then. Uh, go do my delivery up there and hopefully I get the uh, a reload out of there today uh, because I got some hours left yet for the day once I get there so hopefully uh, this patch will have a reload uh, out of there pretty quick too you know but just have a look at that uh, the big rocky mountains up here you know figure I show that a little bit to you guys today just beautiful at least to me all right we'll see you a little bit later just have a look at these uh, over, over uh, I don't know what you would call it, but bridges, overhang bridges or whatever. This is where uh, the snow would come down in the, in the winter time. So you would have an avalanche and it would come down right uh, from these steep hills up here. And because the road is so close to this mountain up here, they have to build those so they, there's lesser chance of getting stuck in one of those avalanches, you know, and kill yourself or whatever, you know. But anyways, we got a few of them up here. Here's another one coming up here, and this is where the snow would uh, just roll over and roll right over there to the left in the ditch there, so it goes down quite a ways, so uh, anyways, just figured to show you that, it's pretty interesting to see, you know, at least it will be for some of you, I know for sure. Have a look at this uh, big drop off, straight off the cliff here, you know, that's where we're driving, just on the side of the mound. I mean, that's a big straight up, you know. Just going through Revelstock, BC. They got a really narrow, narrow bridge up here. I know it's a little foggy, but we got a tiny little river up here. And uh, this is a really narrow bridge. If you were to meet an oversized truck up here, you'd be in trouble, I guarantee you that. You'd have to wait on one side of the bridge. So anyways, I just figured I'd show that to you guys. Hey, look at this. It's beautiful, eh? going on the side of the mountain. I don't know if you're going to be able to see there on the right. Uh, there's a hole in the mountain up there and that's where the train goes through, eh? On the other side of the river up there. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, over there you should be able to see that. Yeah, that's just interesting, eh? They make holes through the mountain up here so that the train can go through there. But can you imagine climbing a mountain like this? I mean, yeah, there's, there's mountain climbers out there, but I mean, for the average uh, average truck driver, you know. I mean, that would be that would be hard labor, man. Have a look at this interesting building here on the right. They got a I don't know exactly what it is, but some kind of building here, and uh, got a little lake up here and uh, everything. They got a couple of helicopters over there. I don't think you can see them on the camera, but this area is known to have a lot of avalanche area. As you can see here to the left is a big mountain and it goes almost straight up and uh, I've come across here in winter time at, uh, one time at least where an avalanche had happened up here and uh, the road was shut down. We had to uh, sit a couple hours here and uh, wait till they reopen it you know. But uh, anyways uh, just show you, show you uh, where we drive and, and what we get to see you know. A beautiful lake up here on the right. On the other side, there's a train going. Alrighty, I am in Kamloops, BC, right now, and just have a look at that train right there. And right between there, that's where I have the scale up here. And uh, look at all the garbage they got up here. Got a pee bottle down there, and we got the mountains behind there. So uh, just show you uh, what a truck stop looks like some of these filthy animals come down here you know and anyways i'll go get me something to eat and go make my way down to langley Alrighty, we are going to go down it's 18 kilometers downhill that's at least what the sign said back there we just finished doing another brake check and as you can see it just goes downhill downhill and more downhill so uh we'll we'll make our way down and so I guess that's about 11, almost 12 miles downhill. So we'll see you at the bottom, or whatever happens from here to there. All right, it says uh, we're going.
going down. Look at that. We're going to be at the bottom way down there. And a little bit, I guess. Going downhill is always good. Good fuel mileage. Just have a look at the sheer drop off that we got up here. I don't know how much your camera is going to be able to see, but it's a long way down there. You wouldn't want to go off this cliff here, I guarantee you that. Highway. All right, all right, we'll do that. Anyways, uh, told me to go over to Richmond, BC and pick up a preloaded trailer full of cabinets. So, uh, and then I'm taking that to uh, Edmonton, Alberta. So that's about 1,200 kilometers up to there, or 1,160 kilometers. That's what the GPS says up to there. So, and now we'll do our delivery up there and. Uh, I told the dispatch, well, I need to be back by the end of the month, so that's going to be Sunday, so... In 600 meters, slide dry on exit 91, 9th Street, South Westminster Highway. Well, anyways, yeah, the, we'll, uh, we'll try and get out of uh, BC or Vancouver here before uh, the rush hour gets too bad, you know? But uh, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos that I've been making so far. 
I, uh, I really appreciate all the new subscribers that I've been getting lately so thank you guys for subscribing to my channel it really uh, means a lot to me so uh, anyways we'll get rolling here and uh, we'll see what happens from here alrighty guys just got down to uh, Merritt British Columbia gonna call it a day here spend the night here and then we'll make our way down to uh, Edmonton Alberta tomorrow all right you guys know how to follow me and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m.